close game. So, in the end, walk away if you don't want to hear. In the end, look who won. It wasn't either of them, or it wasn't the Tyrannids either. It was an Agents of the Imperium victory. Yeah. Um, that game wasn't even close. Like, it was, <laughs> it was almost callable. What was it? Almost callable. Turn two. Turn two. Yeah. Uh, but turn three, it was like dead. Yeah. Um, what happened? Your dice. <laughs> you saw it, people. Like when yeah. he, he rolled ten shots at a fly rent, six hits on sixes, five wounds. You know what? When I rolled, uh, so it was kind of neat with yeah. the Agents of the Imperium book. You can get all these extra warlord traits. Yeah. And when we were rolling them up at the beginning, I'm like, oh, great. I get to re-roll again. You know, preferred enemy psychics. That's never going to help. Um, but really, that won the game probably. Oh, yeah. Blowing up the Flyrens. The Flyrens, usually they can do go around and do some damage. They did nothing, unfortunately, because they yeah. just died. The shots. My, what, my war... what did they actually take out? Like one or two sisters, maybe? Uh, the one guy took out... A sister with the psychic uh, thing. One of them took out uh, four of the Death Watch. That's right. And but that was pretty good. That was pretty good, yeah. yeah. And besides that, they, they didn't, like, obviously, it's just one of those days. Like, your rolls were very well. My rolls were not. Like, you did two wounds, and I failed both of them, and then I failed my grounding check. Yeah. And you needed, what, one or two to fail yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. So, it happens. And that's the thing with taking flyers. If you, as we said in the beginning, if you roll hot, it happens. And other than that, the game was, and then obviously it was really awesome. I love the fact that it was the steal each other's. I got two sixes, and you got one six. <laughs> yeah. So, it was like... Whoa. I gave you one two and then you gave me two, two sixes. sixes. Yeah. yeah. So it was a great game. Uh, I wouldn't have done anything differently because I really didn't have the chance to do anything different. You know, I, I needed to go first. The range really, like a, a lot of my shooting was 24 inch shooting. Yeah. Or, like very effective with all the storm bolters I had. Mm -hmm. 24 inches or more. And then I had those incinerators and um, mm -hmm. especially for the points, a strength six, AP four, flamer. Yeah. Always good. It is. Moloch whiffed. Flyron's whiffed. Yeah. Uh, we did make a mistake. I we thought we both thought he had six wounds, but he died anyway first turn. It was first blood anyway. Toxicrine died first turn to get first blood. Yeah, I needed I assassin definitely go first. Nothing. And I needed to get lucky with a couple of rolls. But, uh, the assassin passed all of his all of his uh I think he passed like five oh, and three. Just three. At least more than three, I think. Yeah. I fired at him three he was times. pretty good though, because I mean, like, well, I mean, aside from him yeah. not really having any significant impact on the game whatsoever, he's an annoyance. Yeah. And he'd always do that, that D three, and if he got lucky, three wounds off something. Yeah. In theory. Yeah. But you know, every time I go for that, you, I think you're always better to do the wound on um, twos. The wound on twos. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, unless I'd only, like, if you hit a flyrant or something, got lucky. It'd be kind of nice. Because even, like, then, a, you know, I mean, like, a third of the time, even if you hit and wound on the four plus... You're only I, wounding on... You, you only get one wound anyway. Yeah, that's it. So it, it's kind of... What would be better? I guess on average, you'd get, statistically, uh, one wound if you do, you know, D3 mm -hmm. on a four up. It's on average one, and if you do the two to wound, it's a five. It's technically better math still. Yeah. But still, it's it depends on what you want. If you only need that one wound, just go on a two up and kill it. Yeah. I like this shirt. I'm gonna pick up another one. I need a Depticon. MVP. MVP. Yeah. This shirt was the MVP for my team. <laughs> I think it was my favorite thing during this game. Yeah, it was fun. Like we had a great time. Uh, we were looking at each other after turn two and being like, "Is this just turn two? <laughs> is this is this turn two? Like I'm doing my post turn. I'm like, yeah, happens. Yeah, and I could have got a couple points in my last turn, but it wasn't close. It was like ten to three after three turns. Yeah. yeah, it's all good. So once again, everyone, go check out phantasm.com. Uh, link in the description below, and it'll take you to your the Brom Hall website. Yep. And there's a tournament coming up at the end of the, no not end of this month March twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, Peterborough. And this one will definitely be out before because this is next week's video. Okay. So, thank you very much for watching. Once again, huge thank you to Dave. Got to come back sometime. We'll play another game. Like Our games are always interesting. Well, one of the really neat things with the Inquisition book yeah. is... I mean, I went for kind of a shooty build today, mm -hmm. obviously. But there's just so much uh, diversity in the book. You can... 
just yeah. keep going and going and going. I've got a ton of all the units that in the books, so I could play it 20 times and never even come close to the same type of army. Imperial Asians. Yeah. <laughs> so, tonight's on this is Jay and Dave saying happy painting.